Look at the snake here, behind the lot, behind the tree. Yeah. What's up? Shit. Yeah. Why would you put your baby on a lot? <laughs> The moral of the story is don't put your baby on the Oh, some more monkeys here. Square monkeys. The bats. You cannot see the flowers, but Beautiful. Stand on them. Yeah, yeah. Some of them, the big one, the biggest one, can resist a weight of five kids. Don't poke my face, huh? You can show you these spikes. Oh, some of them, some What he was shown over there is these spikes at the bottom of the lily pad. Right? And you can imagine fishing out here. It's, it's, it's hard. Very difficult. Right? So, number one, it's not allowed actually to catch most of the fish because this is the time that they have eggs. Right? And number two, it's difficult. Right? We have, for example, we have, a, let's say, an, an electric eel that you find out here also. Mm -hmm. Electric eels, they look for these palm trees, right? Especially one called acai. Acai palm is what we use. We make a juice out of it and it's very rich in iron, right? They love this, this acai um, fruit. And also, they like the fish. Smaller fish to eat, right? Electric eel. So what they do, you, you normally find them in that area, swimming. Right around these trees, waiting for the other fishes to come, or even the fruit to fall. But they, they prefer mostly the fish. So what they do, if the fruit are not falling on time, they put their tail to that tree and give it a shock. <laughs> they have between 500 to 1,000 volt. <laughs> so when they shock that tree, it vibrates, which makes the fruits fall even earlier. Right. So when the fish will come after the, the berries now. That's when they get them to eat, hmm. right? So out here, for example, most people have here, they're, they're, you come to the Amazon, you're afraid of, let's say the anaconda, for example, or piranhas, but they are not actually the most dangerous thing we have here. <laughs> we have the electric eels and we have the caimans. We have most accident in the Amazon is by caiman, <laughs> right? I knew a, I know a guy who Jerson also know him. His yeah. name is Moasim. Moasim. Ah uh, yes, Moasim. He him. once he was fishing in the water, Native. up to his knee, right? His knee in the water. This was out, and um, he didn't actually see this caiman. Everybody know what a caiman is from the from the, the crocodile family. This caiman went right up to him and bit him in the chest. Oh. Oh. Right? Yeah. When this caiman bit him in the chest, he poked his finger into the eyes of the caiman. And maybe it pained, that's when the caiman releases him. But when the caiman releases him, all of his intestine was like out. Oh. Oh. Today, he, I think he, is, he has three rib less. Oh. If we have the time, I'll take it and I'll show him. He can lift his shirt up and you see he's all stitched in the chest. Oh. Because of that, he doesn't have any more lot of um, strength in the arm anymore. Oh, wow. right? I know people who lose their legs, right? I've been bitten once, but very. It was because of a guy. Okay, small bite. So, Cayman is one of the most um, cases of accident we have in Amazon. Also, if you're a poor native and you live out here, you have one cast net, and then you cast that net in this area, and it, it got hooked at the bottom. You don't want to pull it to get it ripped, because you want to take care of that net because you don't have money to buy a new one, right? So, what people normally do. They dive and they try to get it out. And I don't know if you guys know, during the daytime, that's where they came and sleep, underneath these logs. Right? So you get bit and that's how, you know, things happen. If you swim in the water, yes, in certain area, right? 
they get up in any hole that you have on your body. <laughs> and they, they start cutting your intestine, right? So these are things you have to be worried about. Let's go swimming right now. <laughs> <laughs> right? So anaconda, guys. Anaconda is a very big, lazy snake. Does not attack anybody like that, right? He'll never attack a person because he know he cannot swallow you. Unless you're a baby or, you know, okay. a smaller animal. So we're about the size of right? <laughs> Kanjiru. Kanjiru. Yeah. That's what I'm scared of. Yeah. The Kanjiru? <laughs> that big. We have the Kanjiru, the normal ones, and we have one you call Kanjiru Asu, which gets a little bit bigger. Right? You guys know what is a cassava? Okay, well, it's. The manioc, the, the manioc is a poison cassava. Yes, okay. That's why you have to cross it so you can eat it. So what you do? Firstly, the family will take out the fish. How you get the root from the stomach. Take the root, bring it out here. You have a pile of manioc right here. And your family will sit around you, your wife, your kids and everybody. Take the skin off. After you take the skin off, we use this here. I said the evening. This is a grater, right? In the beginning, they never had a, a, a they never use a, a moto. It used to be by hand, right? After grating it, it becomes like this. You see this? It's all together, right? Then we'll squeeze it in the press, which is right behind us, right? After squeezing it, then the, 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 the juice, they collect in a container, right? And they, let's forget about the juice now. Let's get back to the, to the, the fiber. Then, the juice. then you, you get this here, and you pass the sifter, which is this here. Okay. So then you pass it to the other side. After you sifted it, right, you pass this through the sifter, and it becomes, and you can see she's doing it, it becomes juicy, right, after it's all juicy then, then you get, you can look at the grinders, which is the, things like the strings, they have a string in the middle, Right? That's what they'll use to make some time porridge. Or right? Then this thing here is what they parch for about two and a half hours. Right? Which means two and a half hours you have to be in front of that fire, parching that until it becomes very, very crispy. When it's crispy, then it's ready to eat. The crispy one is right behind you. And the rubber trees. Lots of these. And then they, they, you put a bowl to collect. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, it's dripping. That's when they go out looking for a Brazil nut. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you wouldn't be, be able to sit there all the time waiting for that. Right? And normally they go out like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning to get the street cut. Because if you go early, that's when the milk will come down more. Right? If you go later when the sun is out, then the milk gets thicker. Right? Mm. So can you just keep using it over and over and over? I'd imagine. It's, it sounds to me like a maple tree basically. Yeah, I think it I think you can. It's just tree sap. Yeah. Somebody just gotta cook for dinner. If you collect rubber from the trees, that comes up with the Well like what do you do with the rubber? The rubber <laughs> shoes? Okay. What is it? Kapua Su. Kapua Su. Um, it only grows in the Amazon. Yeah, it only grows in the Amazon. Yeah, and it's mixed with alcohol for ice cream. Oh, huh. interesting.
question. Yes. How deep is the water out here? About, variation about five or four meters. Four or five meters? 